Hi, I'm Dr. Carl O. of Tennessee Retina in Nashville, Tennessee. I appreciate this opportunity to answer some questions for Ophthalmology Times about life in the time of coronavirus. Our priority is to slow the spread of this pandemic. First and foremost, we're doing everything we can to keep patients away from our office and out of the operating room. We've canceled all elective surgeries. We are limiting patient visits and treatments to those with immediate vision-threatening problems. We have organized physician and staff schedules to sequester ourselves in teams so that if one of us gets infected, we're less likely to be exposed to other coworkers. These are but a few of many changes we've made throughout the practice. social distancing, and hygiene. We question every patient at our entrance about coronavirus disease symptoms. With rare exception, every patient comes alone into the clinic. Their family is asked to return to the car and wait to be called when the appointment is over. We are meticulous about hygiene, hand washing, cleaning every surface and every piece of equipment, wearing personal protective equipment. But as I mentioned before, nothing is more important than doing all we can to identify patients who can be told to stay away from our office without any significant risk to their vision. We have some staff working remotely, but we're a retina practice, and that takes face-to-face -face evaluation and treatment of patients. All of our nine offices are open, but only for patients with immediate vision-threatening retina problems. Managing the caseload isn't really the challenge. Our goal is to reduce our caseload. Finally, what have you learned about yourself personally and professionally? As a retina specialist, my decisions have always been those that I think will lead to the best vision outcome for my patient. In this time of pandemic, our practice is making decisions that we recognize may lead to compromised vision outcomes for some, but with the result of saving lives by slowing the spread of the virus. And at this time, our priority must be saving lives. On a personal note, I've really come to appreciate uh, small things that were once a normal part of life, a handshake, a pat on the back. I'm lucky in that my wife and two of my three adult children are home with me and we're safe, and I love the time I'm spending with them, but I do miss hugging them. Thank you.